also, last night I went to the Priscilla Presley event at Atos and Nixa, and this was a tell-all, sit-down style interview type show. But before I get more into it, she has some anecdotes to share about Ava, so take a look at this video. And I, I miss him very, very much, and he, uh, there'll never be anyone like him, really, never. Um, but one thing that surprised me was how, how he had insecurities as well, like when he would go on stage, after he would do a show in Vegas, he would come off the stage behind the curtains and ask one of the guys, how did I do? Was it okay? Did I come across okay? How, 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 how's my voice? You know, he would do that all the time, which goes to show you he, he wasn't that secure about, about, you know, how good he was. And he would always, you know, after, after the shows, he'd change his clothes, he would go up to the suite at, uh, at the Hilton in Vegas. He would sing gospel music. He loved gospel music. I mean, uh, that was the go-to for him on songs. You know, he was raised very religious. His uh, parents brought him to church every Sunday. And um, I think that always, kind of thing, you know, always lived within him. It was a really, really special event. That's just a very small piece of a 90 minute program that they put on. Um, but some topics she covers throughout the kind of tell all conversation, if you will, is she talks about meeting Elvis initially and how that went, which is depicted in some of the films that are out now. Um, she talks about her marriage, why she ultimately decided to leave him, which was incredibly fascinating. Um, she talks about having Lisa Marie, her daughter who has now passed, of course, in the last year. Lots of headlines around that. She kind of talks about learning how she was dying and going to the hospital and saying goodbye for the last time, which was very intense. Um, she touches on her acting career. She does give her opinion on Elvis and Priscilla, the two films that have okay. come out in the last year, which was super interesting. She had a big part in making Elvis, but Priscilla, she was more so outside of, but it was directly about her, kind of focused on her book, which was interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I do love that she has this platform where she really can tell her own story because yeah. I didn't know much, and what I do know, I don't think is necessarily the truth. Sure. So that's yeah. great. No, it was really special. And the final thing I'll say is, um, you know, the interviewer had said, like, wh why do you keep doing, like, why do you keep sharing all this stuff about Elvis? And she was like, my biggest thing before I go is I'm just trying to keep his legacy going because he always said his biggest fear was that people would forget about him which oh, I think no is really ever interesting. forget about him. right especially now we think about like he's the biggest name ever you know and so it's just funny that that was a fear of his um, but anyway it was a special night so if you ever get the chance to go see her in person you should she's a really seems like a very genuine person all right